A newly proposed bill would prohibit polling locations on school campuses, including college universities throughout the state. Our Alexis Scott went to Texas A&M University to see how students feel about this bill. Hundreds of bills have been filed by state lawmakers related to elections and voting, and the newest one could stop the efforts of voting on college campuses altogether. Typically, universities have polling locations on campuses, making it easier for students to cast a ballot between classes. Other community members also use schools and public universities as polling locations. But all of this could change before the end of the year. This is a question of access. Whenever you're eliminating polling locations, you're eliminating a place where somebody can exercise a right. And we know from research that the earlier somebody votes in life, the more likely they are to be a lifetime voter. The bill was proposed by State Representative Carrie Isaac in hopes to make all school campuses safer from the outside public. Islanders at TAM UCC tell me many first time voters are college students and could discourage election turnout. In my in my eyes, it's like suppressing the young vote. If a lot of people, uh, conservatives, liberals, whoever want the young vote, they need to have areas and access and availability and convenience. And without the convenience or availability and access, we're not going to go out and vote. Adding to those who don't agree, two state senators also filed an opposing bill in November. It requires at least one main polling location for campuses with at least 5,000 students and two polls for campuses with 10,000 students. But some students wonder if this bill goes into effect. Will any of that matter? If it's out of the way to vote, uh, people just aren't going to do it. So we see it time and time again that it looks like your candidate isn't going to win, so you don't even bother trying. It's hard enough to even get the ability to do mail-in ballots. Uh, if they're going to take away our ability to just walk down the hall and vote, I think we're good as gone. Texas A&M Corpus Christi was recognized as one of the most engaged campuses for student voting last year. If this bill gets passed, it'll go into effect September 1st. At Texas A&M University Corpus Christi, Alexis Scott, Chris 6 News. Alexis, thank you so much.